Hey, this is a game, blah blah blah. We helped him on us to scale to seven figures using systematizing client acquisition. Don't want to bother you with this whole thing, but today I want to make a quick video on how I learned how to create videos and be good at it. Now, this skill is extremely important. Why? Because it is down to communication. And why is it important? Well, my friends, I don't know if you've been living under a rock, but if you're watching this video, you are pretty interested in seeing how you can leverage social media to potentially get a few members here and there to grow your gym. Now today I'm going to show you exactly how I learned to basically talk about pretty much anything out of my ass and be able to word it and f construct it in a way that's well engaging enough for people to listen to me for a few minutes as you are right as you are doing right now and also yeah I'm making sure that I in the end get appointments with that and yeah then schedule gyms trial for gyms by that's basically it so the way you go about doing it is extremely simple I would just want to recap something really quick because most gym owners and myself included I'm not a gym owner but I want to make something clear I don't want to be a TikTok dancer or something like that and I guess you don't want to so that we can probably agree on we don't want to be this guy doing some crazy stuff on the internet your job is not to be a youtuber or TikToker or whatever it is your job is to be a business owner and that's extremely important to understand because those are two different jobs. You are not optimizing for specific strategies and spending all your time on social media. You're just going to be doing what's going to grow your business. And there is a huge discrepancy between both. Why? Because this is not the same thing. Like, at all. Now, how do you go about creating content that's still effective? Because you want to create something that works, right? without spending your whole day on it and making sure it actually grows your business and it's not something that's going to basically just be a waste of your time which you don't want to happen extremely 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 simple first and foremost i just want to let you know guys about something creating content that works is just about solving a specific problem in this instance what i'm doing with you right here is you're like oh i don't know how to create content the problem I'm solving is how do you make content Ta-da! Problem solved. And then you're going to like this video because that's exactly what I'm helping you to do. Now, the way you go about doing it and also the way you position it, some people, and myself included, I want to tell you something. At the beginning, I was kind of a pretentious guy that thought I knew more than I actually knew. <laughs> I got way more humbled by the world. I, th I think I was, I'm still young, but I mean, like, I was younger than that and I think that was the reason why. But talk only about things you know. Because... And you know a bunch of shit. Like, you know a bunch of things that definitely if you can say that to somebody, you can help them to solve a problem. So, for example, personally, I was obese in the past and I knew, like, I lost, like, 35 kg and I was able to lose a lot of weight, like, 60 pounds, something like that. And that's a problem I was able to solve. Then people went to me and be like, hey, Gabriel, like, how do you solve this problem? And then because I knew and actually went through the journey myself, I learned how to do it. In my case, I went through it, literally. I was able to then solve the problem for them and be able to exit a painful situation, which is what we really do with solving problems. But anyway, you take that and you just frame it in a way that people like to listen so that they can then solve a problem. In my situation, I'm just doing a little writing ball right here to make it entertain, entertaining for you guys. But the most important thing is just talk about shit you know, like how to do a squat or something like that. And also coming with that, an important note is that guys, your first video is gonna be shit. Look at my first videos. I I can't I I'm not even gonna watch those guys because I just cringe at the idea of doing this thing and I can clearly remember remember some of those and I'm like God no I'm not taking a look at that but I guarantee you it's like your squats your first squat you did was shit the second squat you did was still shit the hundred squat you did was eh, better and the thousand squat you did was good you know it's exactly the same thing with everything I'm not gonna like teach your life it's like you know you live you learn kind of thing. But you gotta do a lot of those to get better at it. And it's gonna go with communication and being able to articulate your thoughts and things like that. Usually team owners are pretty extroverted and are able to talk a lot because you just are with people every single second of every day, so you're able to do that. So don't be scared to actually put yourself out there because the more you put yourself out there, the more you solve, the more problems you solve for people, the better your gym is going to be because you're going to acquire a lot more people because you solve that problem which is what you indirectly do when you sell your services too. Second thing you should be doing, you should be doing, sorry, staying consistent with doing that because if you do one video, <coughs> number one, you're not going to be able to learn to how to make good videos or post on Instagram or whatever it is that you want to do. But second, 
it looks like this when you could do social media at the time I'm doing this video like I'm just right here like I know this is like a 10 year journey or whatever but the thing is I just know that if I stay consistent at some point I'm gonna be here and then when I'm here I already know that looking forward I can be here so you just keep doing it until you just fucking skyrocket to the moon now of course again we mentioned previously we don't want to be tiktokers or anything like that now what you want to be doing is making sure you grow the business in a way that you know can get you a predictable amount of of people coming through the doors that you can do for sure there are much positive ways that you can go about doing that which i mentioned in other videos but this is extremely achievable you just gotta stay consistent and learn how to do it now this is pretty much it one thing that i want you guys to know however is that one thing that I want to add it because I have my notes right here and I wanted to add something into this one. Something that is extremely important is when I do a video, I'm just focused on that 100%. And before, like, I, I mean, I'm a videographer. I don't have my camera on me right now. I'll, I, I shared it to my one of my friends. But the reason why I'm telling you that is that right now, as you can see, I did some pretty higher quality videos in the past. And I may get back to doing those. But the thing is, it's just about lowering the barrier to entry and just doing the work, just giving those videos a try, just doing those videos. Great video ideas, great ideas don't really need to have all the polishing. This is like the 20% and I focus way too much on that beforehand. One thing that you need to be learned to, learning to is how to articulate those thoughts properly. Now the way you go about doing that is being like 100% like focus on the task at end. Like I don't have anything on my phone right now. Got people on the on the left doing some shit. Like and I can't fucking like yapping around. But I'm just a hundred percent focused on this video. Whoever can talk to me, I'm gonna be like, no, doing this video right now. So whenever you do set some time aside to do those videos, you are in those. You just stay in the task and you keep doing it. And at some point, you're gonna be able, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm training myself to simply record a video and upload it to YouTube straight because I don't want to spend hours editing the videos. It takes a fucking long amount of time. I've been editing videos, dude. I know it's hard. I hate it. So I want to make sure I'm so good at this. I don't need to edit a single video. And I can be so good at speaking that, well, I don't need that. And also, it's a pretty good exercise to get fluent and to learn how to express yourself. Which is pretty good because I'm not an English native, by the way. Anyway. Link in the description if you want me to pitch you. Just kidding, not kidding. <laughs> but if you're on a systematized client acquisition and you need some help around those lines, I would be extremely happy to share you around and how we go about doing that and on a complete pay on result basis. Now, if you don't want to, it's fine. Hope you like this video and I hope you're gonna like the other ones. I would love for you to subscribe and join the family. See you on the next one.